Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the shit hall city of Austin, Texas here on this absolutely beautiful Saturday morning, December 15th, 2018. So I need to start packing up the biohazard zone and working my way back to my garden in Garfield, Texas. But before I do that, simply need to do what I do every day and that's try to figure out the we are so fucked doomer headline of the day to start off my day depressing myself before heading out into this gorgeous uh, December day in the end time. So let's see what my my top three choices are today for the uh, We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day from good old Yahoo News. See what they've come up with. All right, many, many versions of this story on the uh, this is USA Today's headline, Melania Trump's noticeably lighter hair shocks causes Twitter uproar. Talking about the absolute uh, meltdown on social media because Melania Trump has dyed her hair. All right, anyone who does not understand why that is uh, a contender, but didn't quite make the cut. So we're going to go over to the Christian Science Monitor. Israel booms with babies. Israel booms with babies. Uh, talking about how Israel has the highest birth rate of any country outside of sub-Saharan Africa. But uh, uh, I've already done a couple of anti-natalist uh, stories recently. Anyway, so several versions of this one now today also. I'm going to go with the French news service, but I'm going to have to get out my plastic <clears throat> bullshit detector button and my plastic no shit Sherlock button set them up on my plastic computer and dive into this mess, literally. Oceans of garbage prompt war on plastics. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. Yes, talking about how the planet is rising to the challenge of plastic pollution in declaring war on plastic. All right, take it away, French News Service. <clears throat> Faced with images of turtles smothered by plastic bags, beaches carpeted with garbage, and islands of trash floating in the oceans, environmentalists say the world is waking up to the need to tackle plastic pollution at the source. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Stories on social media of giant seas of floating waste or a beached whale found in, e found in e Indonesia with 13 pounds of plastic in its stomach are bringing plastic pollution into the spotlight. This is George Leonard, chief scientist from the Ocean Conservancy. Quote, there is no question plastic is having a moment. We are in a moment in time where we are starting to stare the problem in the face and we are quite 
optimistic and hopeful, optimistic and hopeful, that we can solve it. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yes. <clears throat> Leonard and other environmental experts are optimistic that the exposure, meaning the exposure to the problem, will make the problem of plastics hard to ignore and focus attention on how best to deal with such waste. Eight million tons of plastic is dumped into the oceans every year according to one study uh, in science. But that is only the plastic that comes from the land, said Francois Galgani, one of these uh, ocean huggers, estimating that another two million tons could come from ships, especially fishing vessels, you know, talking about uh, either accidentally or more likely just on purpose dumping uh, millions of tons of their abandoned fishing gear into the ocean. Uh, just when it's, you know, worn out, they just dump it uh, into the ocean. This is a direct product of overfishing. Uh, so, who, who knows what the real total is. It's a hell of a lot bigger than any 8 million tons. As a consequence, more than 700 species are impacted, including turtles who confuse plastic bags with the jellyfish they eat. More than 5 billion plastic bags. Five billion plastic bags are used every year and a ban step by step, country by country, is underway. The first phase towards a possible general ban. That was bullshit. And so I want to break in here because I don't think I've mentioned this. I, I, I've mentioned many times about the plastic bag ban in Austin, Texas that was instituted, when was that, four or five years ago, and uh, how it seemed to be working. Well, guess what happened? Uh, when was it, about three months ago, they just quietly overturned the single-use plastic ban in politically, environmentally correct Austin, Texas. I don't know who it was that uh, that threatened whoever needed to be threatened or paid off whoever needed to be paid off. So there is no longer a plastic ban, uh, a bag ban in Austin, Texas. Uh, the same thing pretty much happened when California uh, tried to ban these things. I have some idea that maybe the entire country of Australia tried to ban these goddamn things. In every case, when these bans were put into place, uh, either by voters or by legislators, whoever, these powers that be have managed to overturn the bans. Now, right now, Harry Butt's Grocery Store, uh, the, probably the biggest you know, dumper of these plastic bags in Austin, has refused to go back to the single-use bags, although that'll last about a year, and then one day they'll just return there. I mean, you can go to Bastrop, where I go, you know, 30 miles from Austin and uh, get all the single-use plastic bags at Harry Butts Grocery as you ever did. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to this article. Bag bans could be followed by bans on plastic straws and cotton swabs. 
Mm. The European Union wants to ban certain single-use plastics by the end of 2021. I already had a rant about, uh, anyway, let me go ahead. Uh, the European Union wants to ban certain single-use plastics by the end of 2021. I've already had a rant on why that is complete, utter horseshit. For Galgani, that would be good news as it would represent about 30 to 40 percent of the plastic that ends up in the oceans. Quote, everyone is working for the good cause, even Industries, he said. But, according to a study in Science Advances Review, from the 8.3 billion tons of plastic produced between 1950 and 2015, 6.3 billion of those tons became garbage. That was not very biodegradable material, and only 9% was recycled. For Greenpeace's Mergem Cop, though, recycling is not enough. No shit, Sherlock. I love that name, Cop. Wouldn't you love to have the last name, Cop? Quote, we cannot continue this business as usual. We need to change the throwaway culture we have developed. Industries are putting the blame on consumers, saying they should recycle more, but we don't think that will help. They, meaning industries, are responsible for the single-use plastics they put on the market. Close quote. This is one more of those arguments that it is not either or, it is both and. It is industries and consumers. The UN Environment Agency has already declared war on plastics in the oceans. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. And made it the environmental theme of 2018. This is Petter Malvik from the uh, UN. Quote, we need to stop treating plastic as something that we can just throw away after we have used it and start treating it as a material that has real value. Huh. <clears throat> Although bands alone won't solve the problem, they are definitely more than just a drop in the bucket, Malvik said. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Already around 60 countries have joined the campaign to ban non-reusable plastics. <clears throat> Okay, what is this about these ghost nets? Another problem is so-called ghost nets. Fishing nets lost at sea or left intentionally and which continue to catch fish for months afterwards. When it comes to cleaning the oceans though, experts say the task may be far more complex Scientists, for example, have doubts over a giant floating cleanup device proposed by Ocean Cleanup Foundation. No shit, Sherlock. Which aims to clear half of a huge waste deposit floating in the Pacific in the next five years. Bullshit detected. Dubbed the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the abnormal mass of floating debris caused by marine turbulence has now reached 80,000 tons spread over an area three times the size of France. 
And if you want to clean up the ocean, scientists say, then the surface is not the place to start. What floats on the surface is nothing compared to what ends up on the ocean floor, experts say. So, what is the solution? Degradation, says Galgani of France's Iremer Institute, referring to the breakdown of plastics, but for some plastics, that means a process that may take hundreds of years. No shit, Sherlock. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to wrap up our We Are So Fucked headline of the day. I guess uh, since I'm procrastinating cleaning up this dump and heading back to Garfield, I guess I will come back with a, a chronicle of the collapse over there on Collapse Chronicles. We're going to go over to Motherboard from Vice Magazine looking at uh, renewable energy saving the planet with the headline, We Don't Mine Enough Rare Earth Metals to Replace Fossil Fuels with Renewable Energies. Uh, looking at the forecast for getting off of fossil fuels, about how we're so fucked as this planet collapses. But that's over there on that other channel. For this We Are So Fucked headline, smoke them if you got them, and we all know why. Bye, guys.